<clears throat> Hello everyone, welcome to Cry of Fear, a very, very classical horror game on the Half-Life 1 engine. So that'd be the gold engine or the gold source engine? So, I just finished Black Mesa Source and I'm going to move on to this game. It is known as a great horror game to many people. Many Let's Players have already done this game, but I have not. I haven't even beaten nor really played this game. only played like a little bit of the first chapter, so I haven't gone anywhere. But... Let's just get, begin and get into it right now. New game, medium. Like, Afraid of Monsters was the game the developers made before this one. And it was one of my favorite, as it is like one of the best horror games on the Half-Life 1 engine. I cannot wait for what these people have in store if they're going to make another game, but on like the Source engine, or the Source 2 engine. My whole life. For as long as I can remember. I don't know if I like it. But, or if I'm just used to it. But I do know this. Being lonely does things to you. And feeling shit and bitter and angry all the time just... eats away at you. Yes. Yes, it does. It's good to be positive and energetic. And that's why everyone's so attracted to Let's Players and YouTubers. They're showing a lot of energy. I can show a bit of energy, not a lot. I have to try to maybe improve that, as long as I'm not a pretentious twat. Kitty cats! Look at that animation. Andreas Ronberg. I remember it was like afraid of monsters like the game was only made by either one person or by like three people and that's why the game was so amazing at the time because the person made such a great like a great game full of custom everything and it was made by a single person or a very small team similar is with this game I think but I guess he has more people to help him with it I don't even remember this at all, because like I said, I played the first chapter, and this was a long time ago, like when Cry of Fear originally was released, so I'm not sure if there's been a lot of updates or patches or improvements of the game, but well, I guess so. The only thing I remember when I first played it was I played it on the hardest difficulty possible, and it was hard as fuck, and I went down a ladder into like this little sewage area, but it was really, really cramped. And I kept getting surrounded by monsters, and they would kill me so fast that medication or it just I would lose a shitload of health. And I kept dying and trying to do it perfectly, but I couldn't, and I just stopped playing. Which is why it's very opportune that I play this game now. Uh, the introduction is kind of fucking long, so it's very. Oh, I think that's me. I don't want to skip the introduction, I mean... If you find this boring, just skip right ahead until the cutscene's over, because... I want to show the whole experience of this game. Dim Half-Life 1 textures. Mm. And if it wasn't already obvious, I have my coffee with me. A bit lukewarm, for my taste. It's been there for a while, but still delicious. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. What happened? What's wrong with your shoulder? It's all crooked. Did someone break it? What's happened? Brum brum. Come on, that'd be easy to dodge. Mm. Hideous looking, stereotypical, balding doctor. Ugh. Also, I forgot my timer again. I'm just going to presume to know the time. 
Wake up. Wake up, take the something. Ugh. What? Let's see. I'm not sure how the mouse in- Oh god. Forgot Half-Life 1, you move really fast. Quake engine kind of stuff. Oh god. Oh, hey, Half-Life 2 poster. Well, we're in the game. Let's get a little more energetic. Yeah! Taking pictures! I'm a photographer! Ugh, I hate you! I didn't see what was in the other corner. There's gonna be a monster pop up when I do a flash, isn't there? A body. Nothing. Ah! A metal grate leading down? Let's jump down! Monster? No? I remember Afraid of Monsters 1, there was like a moment where you just were not expecting at the start that... Half-Life 1 glass! Where you took... It wasn't you took a picture. See, something like that. Like, the person knows how to get you. The calm before the storm. There's like nothing happening, nothing happening, nothing happening, then BOOM! Like, this thing's probably a monster. Oh, it's me. I... I didn't read that. Door, nothing. Window with me and a, and a baby? Monster's over here for sure. No, a door. I'm expecting a monster. Like, watch. Oh god, I knew it! Knew it! I was about to freaking say, if I didn't already say it because I already lost my memory right just then, was that it's probably going to pop up before I even take the picture, because you'll be expecting something to appear when you take a picture, but not before. They know how to grow you to understand what to expect and then do the unexpected. Which takes skill. Not a lot of people obviously can do that if most people rely on fucking jump scares. Because no one can generally expect jump scares, which is why people cheaply use them all the time. No phone credit as usual, better get moving, it's getting dark. You're not gonna question that you got hit by a car? No? It just never happened? Just like Final Fantasy VIII, Squall's dead. Ooh. Hmm. Okay, one's faster than the other, so I'm going to assume this way is a stronger attack, sort of like Counter-Strike. Left click versus right click. Okay, how can I just save? I cannot simply save. Alright. Tab to access inventory. I have a mobile phone, some notes, and a switchblade. It's rather weak with inefficient range. I don't have a flashlight on me. Oops, didn't want to do that. So, I'm happy. I'm in the game. Afraid of Monsters was my favorite game. I've been trying to get into this game for the longest time, but I had Black Mesa. What was that? I'm not gonna run. Why waste my sprint? I know, yeah, stamina bar. I would find a code. Yeah, I don't have a code. So yeah, I hope people enjoy this series, cause oh, find a code. Oh shit. A loading screen door, interesting. What about the, hold on. What about the huge gate, can I enter that? It won't budge. I like that, in fact. It's sort of like Resident Evil, but without a transition scene of the door opening. But that just means you have to click on every single door that could open, like these two, say. It's a little dark. I can't see if there's anything here or not. I don't know if the items are going to be illuminated or not, so I'll just leave. I'll leave it this dark just in case. What are you? See a door! I could not see that. Remote phone we can use as a source of light. Oh, can it now? E combine with knife. E dual wield. Ah. Where are you? Come home as soon as possible. It's getting dark. 
Aw, his mom's worried. As this might be even the sewers I was talking about, possibly. It's a dual wield, so my attacks are slow. I can't get up there even though that jump looked accurate. Won't budge, won't budge. Alright. Oh, I'm not sure for one thing. I don't know how long these episodes should be. I'm thinking just under 20 minutes. Long hallway, something's gonna pop up. No! Interesting. I don't need this right now? Was that for the bike? I guess for the bike. Alright, be right back a quick second. Alright, I am back. Welcome back to yourselves, to this video I am doing. Cry of Fear, did you know? Cry of Fear, yes! Also another thing I remember when I first played this game, and again, I didn't play a lot of it, so I'm completely spoiler free. Beyond a bit beyond this point, I played this part, but everything's going to be a bit foggy. I just remember there's a cafe around here or something. But the other thing I remember was that uh, this place, this area was really leggy for me on my laptop when I originally played it. I'm not sure if I was playing on my Sony Vio at the time, or my Asus uh, Republic of Gamers laptop. But either way, I remember this area was really leggy. Might have been either or of those laptops. The Sony, Vio, the Sony Vio, mind you, I freaking won at a contest. It was pretty awesome. Yep, this is the place I remember. After this section is completely new to me. So let's see what we can do. Pumpkin! It's like I hear zombies in the distance. Someone being eaten around here. I'm just going to keep the flashlight on since, I mean, it's not using up any batteries, so I have nothing much to fear. So let's see. Flowers, flowers. Computer. Yeah. Hmm. A username and password, huh? Maybe that 14 is a clue. Doror Home 1998. Oh, hitting hitting W twice makes you sprint. Cigarettes. Oh, come on. There's a Coca-Cola even up there. Well, I can't do anything in this room yet. Wait, what? That makes no fucking sense. There we go. I didn't even hit E twice. That just sent me right the fuck back in there. Trash can. Can't go in there. Another bike that I can't use right now. How many people are just leaving fucking bikes behind? The interior is destroyed. It's not going to work. I wanted to check the trunk, not, you know, start the fucking car. Alright. How about up here? Aha! CA45. Oh, EA. Thank god there's a translation, because that looks like a fucking C to me. EA45. Archived. Well, that's good, too. It's either a username or a password for it, I guess. Rose. Roses are red. Okay. Took me a while to fucking translate that. <laughs> Can't enter there, at least. Roses are red, and... Let's see. Notes. Roses are red, and the other one was EA45. Whoops, didn't want to do that. EA45, and roses are red. Boop. Alright, we got this. I am so excited to get into this game. You guys have no idea. Okay, username um, EA45. Roses are red. Jill. 1433 three, David. Can I connect to the internet? My computer? Can I. Okay, it's just. Just, uh, just, 
Just a notepad, not a write pad. It's a notepad. Hey, I saw that. Of course, he's nowhere to be found. So what changed? Did I uh, archive that note too? Code from PC. One poor. Oh, 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 oh! I'm the uh, the padlock. The padlock. Okay. In the first creature that I've seen. Though I have not reached a save point. I thought there's going to be manual saves, so this might be a problem in terms of me having uh, timely saves. Creature's going to be in here, isn't he? No? I still remember that one sewer area. I'm just not sure when and where. As soon as I see it, I'm sure it'll come to mind. Okie dokie. Padlock was over here. And then I'll have to, I guess, end the episode for this one. 1433, three, was it? One, four, three, three. There we go. Alrighty. We need a save point. No, wait, this is it. This is where I fucking kept saving. You can put up to three items if you press one. Uh, well, I don't see why I should take off my flashlight. Was that? I remember there being an enemy there, and I think a syringe. Hmm. No, no. This episode might be just a little longer until I find a save point. What the? What the? Look to the right. Huh? How do you get my phone number? Well then, I'm just going to enter the eerie, creepy place. I think maybe this was the place I stopped at. You can save your game at any location with the tape recorder. Hmm, what is this doing here? Looks like an old tape recorder. I might be able to record my thoughts. You're allowed to save up to... Wait. Saving requires a tape. The tape can only be used five times. Uh... Did it say I only can save five times? Or is that just for nightmare mode? Anyways, the game is saved. Um, I'll have to continue it in the next episode because I'm trying to keep my time appropriate. So, I hope you've enjoyed. We have not hit any monsters yet. Next episode because I know there's a monster ahead. So, I hope you can endure the, and be patient and until the next episode. And I hope you have enjoyed. I did that backwards. Fuck right off. I hope you have enjoyed. Yeah, it was that way. I hope you have enjoyed and until the next episode. Mm. Ah. Uh, nope. Nope, nope, nope. Holy shit! I remember when I was younger, I used to fuck this up a lot. But now I'm a jump master, supreme sergeant, lieutenant. <laughs>